Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I'm a little emotional right now. I just got through doing the other video, and I'm really feeling for people who are really missing out. I hung out in those streets playing the pool, doing what I was big and bad enough to do. And I don't care what I was doing. I don't care how hard I was I was um, popping my fingers. I don't care how hard I was shaking my hips and getting down and boogieing back and all of that. I don't care what I was doing. I was always aware of a constant turmoil that never, ever left me. And I didn't want to hear the Jesus talk either. I didn't want to hear any of that. But let me tell you something, you guys. One thing that smells fouler, I don't know how to describe it, but there are two stenches you don't want to smell. One is the smell of vomit. And the other one is the smell of a dead corpse that's been dead for days. You don't want to smell either one of those. Oh, number three is skunk. Okay, moving right along, the point I'm making with that is looking back at what I left out of my life for the sake of accepting Jesus into my life, that makes me think of vomit. That makes me think of a dead corpse. And that makes me think of a stench of a skunk. Rotten garbage. I don't want to go back to that. There is nothing back there that I want to pick up. It's dirty. It's rotten. It hurt so many times in so many ways. It was humiliating. It was frustrating. It was empty. I was empty. Life was pointless. It wasn't worth living in my book. And I could not figure out what the heck I was doing on this planet. What was I born for? Who was I? I didn't even know myself. And I certainly couldn't tell you what real love was. Until God, until God wooed me into his bosom, and I finally took the plunge and accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And then, folks, I could not tell you why, why I held out so long. I couldn't tell you what the heck was I holding on to. It was a big facade, a big charade. It was nothing. All that stuff you think you're doing, all that stuff you think you got the right to, it ain't about nothing, y'all. It is about nothing. When we had black and white TV, as an example, it was a phenomenal thing to have TV. Wow. People moving, walking, talking, singing, dancing. In this little box. Whoa. What a phenomenal invention. Until. Color TV. You can go through a black and white life for the rest of your life. You can go through having it your way, never being satisfied, never knowing real joy, real love, real peace. And yes, peace is real. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a myth. Never knowing real dignity, real self-confidence. Never knowing why you're born. The pointless pursuit of the question mark. And then, then you die. Never knowing. 
meandering through life, encountering its ups and downs, and being scarred every step of the way, chewed up and spit out by everybody you come in contact with. A few good moments. Hey, you know, life ain't going to do you dirt all the time. But trust me when I say, you're only getting a few coffee breaks. But when you walk with God, hand in hand, that's color TV, baby. That is everything in its purest form. Life, vitality, joy, solidity, balance, health, mental health, emotional health, physical health. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to talk much anymore on that because I feel like I, I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to twist your arm or, you know, twist it behind you. Believe, 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 or I'm going to break it. <laughs> I just wish that you guys could experience the real thing. You remember that song? Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. There's nothing like the real thing. Nothing. And I ain't talking about no love affair. I'm talking about encountering God for yourself. There's nothing, nothing like it. It's like looking at a little cubic zirconian. You know, it had a little sparkle to it. But then you hold up that 15 carat, flawless, flawless diamond. And you hold it to the light and you compare. It's like, phew. nothing like it. There's a brilliance that comes with knowing God that you will never get, never experience without encountering him. Without God, there is no brilliance. Sorry, but it's just a fact of life. For God so loved the world, for God so loved you and me, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him will not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life starts the day you say yay to Jesus Christ. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He's the door. He stands at the door and knocks. Open to him, you guys. What are you fighting so hard? Open up to him. You know what? I could look at a piece of candy all day long. Look it through it, through the light, and I can play with it and hold it in my hand. But I will never experience that candy until I take it out of the wrapper and I put it in my mouth in the flavor. I can tell you what it tastes like. I can tell you what color it is. I can describe the texture. I can go through all of that. But you know what? You don't know until you put it in your mouth. And when you taste and see that God is good. Nothing else will be the substitute. There is no comparison. Taste and see you guys, please.